Hey guys, today we are talking about how you can apply weight shift at the right time in your swing. So with the advent of pressure plates and force plates, lots of people are now starting to realise when that weight moves across. So what it isn't, it isn't about trying to get over your left side as fast as you can on the dowsy. You get over there too fast, there's a chance you can leave those arms behind you and your weight will jump back through the ball. So if you're, if you're a guy who you often see getting your head back going this way through impact, maybe you're transferring your weight too early, okay? Now, there's two problems that I see with this. A, you get the player who shifts his pelvis across, leaves the knees backwards, which can get a bit trapped and underneath it on the way down. Secondly, we get the person who gets everything going forwards, okay? But it's all about when do we get that weight moving across. So what we're going to be trying to do is, starting off with a bit more left foot flare and address to that top of the backswing here where we're keeping that left knee pretty stable. As the left knee rotates out, the shoulder goes across and the hip starts to move a little bit with it. What I'm trying to do is feel that my right knee stays where it is. It might almost feel like it's still in the pre-turned position it was in the backswing, i.e. The, as the pelvis rotated around, the thigh got rotated and there's some torque and pressure built in my thigh in this direction, okay? So what I'm going to try and do is from that top is feel like that has stayed there. So now as my weight has shifted okay I'm moving back to my left but at this point I'm probably 55 45 maybe 60 40 but I've got a lot of pressure here now what it means is I can really then move at impact now I've got about 80 to 90 percent on my left side of the impact but if I go like this and I get 90 percent at this point I can't actually get everything coming through to apply the pressure downwards on the ball in maximum pressure maximum club and speed and that compression through impact that we want so if you can get the feeling if your knee staying here for a little longer knee goes shoulder can go hip can go arms are now perfectly in front of the body then everything can rotate and come through the ball together as a single unit and you'll get that maximum speed applied to the ball at the most important part which is going to be impact not doing it early and therefore slowing down or having to get flash speed from things that are going to be inconsistent like the hands moving you're going to be able to keep the pressure between your hands and the club giving you maximum consistency but also giving you loads of distance because that pressure and weight is coming through at the correct moment Thanks for watching that video guys, hopefully you've learned something there that can really help your game. If there's something more you'd like to see technical wise for me talking and swing, please make some suggestions below. I'll take them on board, we'll put them on our list and we'll be sure to get them up on the channel in the near future. Thanks a lot for watching, if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do so and talk with you again very soon.